So take a look, this PCB is a uh, water damage PCB, as you can see, everything looks messy right there. And uh, yeah, take a look at the power ICs, you can see water damage, like it was serious water damage, I don't know, uh, dirty water, yeah. Take a look, let me turn the other side of the PCBs, you look at the same tray here, you will see uh, it's not that clean, right? So we will troubleshoot this phone, the phone is not switching on, as you can see, it cannot even switch on just from the look of things, right? So we will clean the IC off, make sure that everything is clean first, so that we can perform our normal testing before knowing what we can do about the, the, the PCB. We look for short, which is a current leakage. Then I check this section. Okay, that section is okay. Then here comes the network section. That capacitor is shorting. That other one is shorting also. Come to the power IC section. That one is shorting. Uh, these ones are not shorting. And that one in the middle is shorting. So this water damage fault, it's very uh, common that it can be caused by the by the water corrosion, like uh, causing a short on this IC, so maybe a component is bad, but first we need to make everything clean by cleaning off these ICs, you remove them, you check see if there, there is any burns on the IC, yeah, but if you check here, you cannot see any burns, right, but we can see the uh, yeah, gross stuff under the IC. You can see that that's the water uh, water damage effect under the IC. That's very clear. We come to the power manager IC, then we remove it. We remove it. If you can see, you can see what is coming out of the IC. The water is uh, was really dirty. I can see that. You take a look. You take a look at the IC. You will see that the uh, water damage. Uh, uh, clear right there so what we do here we clean you normally clean because you will have to to put back the ices right so we have to clean the pcb then uh, test the components that were shot in to see if uh, the ices one of these ices was the one causing the components to shot or maybe there is a shot somewhere in the pcb so yeah, to make everything quick, I just clean everything. Then I also check for the shot. Well, you will see what we are going to do right here. Just like that and very smooth. Well, I'm saying it's my right here. That's my number. If you want my courses, either the basic or the professional level course, you'll send me a message using the number and I will give you more information about my course so that you can get and learn all these troubleshooting steps better. So I just clean everything so that everything will be ready for the ICs to be mounted, but we still have work to do right here. I test and we still had a shot right here. That's a shot right there. And uh, yeah, I did a quick troubleshoot and using my rosin uh, flows right there, it shows that that uh, capacitor is shorting, right? So we remove the capacitor and now it's time for reballing, just like that and very smooth. We clean off the IC. The video is too fast. If you are learning revolving, then I have other videos, longer videos, where I do all these stops slowly so that you can actually watch and then learn. So, uh, the video is a uh, fast version of uh, revolving because it's not focused on revolving. I have a specific video revolving shows you the temperature that you have to use, the airflow and all that. So, we are still cleaning the IC right here. And you will see how we are going to do this. We use a, a universal stencil, this type of IC. There is no space in between the, the solder ball. So this one is quite easy to reball uh, with, a, with a universal stencil, as you can see what we are doing here. Just hit it up, just like that, and very smooth. And uh, yeah, you turn the other side, you will see. You just have to take off the solder and push the IC out. And here we have the power manager IC, you can see some space right there. So you have to do a lot of practice to be able to know how to reball this type of ICs with a universal stencil. That you will see what I'm going to do here. Just like that and uh, very soon you will see the IC it will come out looking great. All the, 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 the solder parts are there, you just turn off, remove all the solder right there, clean off the IC, hit it again so that everything will balance, all the solder balls will balance and have one height great 
So you just clean it up, you see everything is looking clean, right? You do just like that and very smooth. We hit this one also to take a good shape so that all of them will have the same shape, height, size, right? So it's time to mount the IC, PMU IC. I don't put a lot of uh, piece here because I don't really have that steady hand. So I'm not that good in putting the IC hitting while adjusting with scissors. I always like to put in a way that I will hit and everything will just balance right away, not touching, just like that. So you hit this one and yeah. So because of the type of other little phone felting, uh, fell inside. Uh, yeah, I'm actually cleaning the PCB and it's not completely cleaning off in a way that the wood will be will look clean, but that's not a problem. The, the, the main thing is for the phone to work right. So I put this other IC hit and you will actually see how it's going to adjust and everything is so clean. Then you also clean the, the surrounding just like that. And yeah, everything be good. You put the IC, you also test see if everything is okay, the reading is okay. And yeah, the reading is okay, right? Everything was okay. You put the mount the PCB, then test see how uh, everything goes. And as you can see, yeah, the phone is on. Even though the screen seems to be damaged by the water, I can see some lines not touching well. But yeah, the phone is on right now.